welcome to the Cricut Kitchen. Today we are making a delicious pack, vitamin packed salad with uh, a mint and cilantro pesto. It's going to be delicious. So let's first start with the kale and bok choy that we're adding to it. Kale and bok choy are from the same family. family. It's brassica, which is also part of collard greens, brussels sprouts, cauliflower, um, and as well as cabbage. And those brassicas are full of vitamin C and K and B6s and folate as well as fiber and magnesium. So they're both really delicious. I know a lot of people usually um, take bok choy and put it in stir fry, um, which I love to do or braise or steam. Um, but I also really like to eat it raw, especially if you get one from a wonderful like organic farm. Um, I get mine from my CSA share, so it is actually on the sweeter side. It's super uh, full of like water content, oh, well, not water content, but um, it's juicy, <laughs> I guess it would be the right word, um, as well as the kale. And the kale, uh, I know a lot of people like to take the stem off, personally. So here's the bok choy. Mmm, it's delicious. And then we've got the kale here, several different varieties. Um, personally, I've noticed that if you do get high quality kale, it actually kind of tastes sweet and a little bit more like broccoli than bitter. Um, I also love to eat the stems. It is one of the most like fibrous part, uh, is, which is really good for digestion. If you don't love the stems, I have a couple solutions for you. A, you can slice it real thin and just add it to your salad. Um, you can also blanch them for a, a couple of minutes and then put them directly into an ice bath and then add them to your salad to tenderize them. Um, you can also, kind of like with a broccoli stem, you can peel back that bitter part and expose oh the really nice tender part of the stem which is delicious <laughs> and it gets rid of that tough outer side love it and then so after you kind of slice those up what you want to do with um especially with kale salads is add a little bit of salt a nice sprinkle and then massage that into the kale and make sure like you know don't be super delicate with it you want to kind of really break that down and tenderize it. So while we're, sorry, I, I got out of the screen. Um, while we're letting that sit and tenderizing our little kale, what we're gonna do is make the vinaigrette. So what I have here is one cup of mint leaves. You can cut it, pre-cut it before you put it in the blender, or if you're uh, making it by hand, definitely cho uh, chop it up. Um, so we're gonna add that cup of mint. I'm taking a clean bunch, a uh, half bunch of cilantro, so stems and all. Wonderful. Cilantro, just so we know, is um, known to help lower blood sugar as well as boost immunity, um, and it's anti-inflammatory. Uh, mint is great for stimulating uh, your brain, and it is also wonderful just for flavor wise as well as um it's just soothing to me i love mint tea when i just want to chill out and relax so sorry i just stretched it out my arm was getting a little <laughs> and then we're gonna do a fourth of a cup of pistachios right in there that's delicious a clove of garlic and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna juice one whole lime into here with my handy dandy juicer. Makes it so easy instead of sitting there squeezing over and over again, maybe hurting your hands. We don't wanna do that. And then I'm gonna add fourth of a teaspoon to a half teaspoon of salt, depending on what your taste buds prefer. So we're going to put that in the Vita Prep. Start blending. And I like to use the plunger for this just so you kind of get everything down there. Let it run for a minute. You can smell those fresh herbs. 
Man, this is gonna be good. So good. And then I'm gonna slowly start drizzling the olive oil. Turn up the speed a little bit. Again, I'm gonna turn it off. Make sure to scrape down the sides. This is also a wonderful recipe to mix with roasted chicken, um, tacos, all sorts of things. Um, pasta dishes, especially pasta dishes. I just actually tried um, edamame noodles for the first time. Oh, they were so good. Uh, what was really nice is they actually hold the sauce really well. They don't break apart in the water and they kind of have like a really nice like edamame like nutty taste to them, which I really appreciate. So I'm gonna turn it back on. Blend it a little bit smoother. Boom. So we're gonna get rid of that. We don't need this big base in the way anymore. We're gonna come back to the salad. So prior scallions or green onions, um, I slice them ahead of time, thin. Um, I cut up the entire scallion. I love the green and the white part. So, you know, whatever your personal preference is, get creative. So I'm gonna add one bunch of that to here. And then I'm going to take the dressing or the pesto and just start off with half the amount. Again, whatever you desire. So I'm just going to mix that in. This salad tastes really good if it has, um, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes to kind of marinate. Um, with the bok choy, I forgot to mention, um, I did two smaller uh, bundles of bok choy, um, but you, if you have a larger one, definitely just use one. And then I'm going to try it. Nicely done. Um, I'm not going to add him the rest of the um, pesto because it doesn't need it. So what's nice is again, spread it on sandwiches, put it in wraps, um, dress your chicken with it or steak or anything like that. It's freaking delicious. So what I'm gonna do is put the salad into a nice serving bowl because you know, I like things to look nice. And that's not it. That's not the whole salad, so just remember, we're getting creative here. Um, what I like to do next is I've got some rainbow radishes here. So I'm going to kind of set those on top. It's going to look real nice. It's going to add a little bit of spice to it. Um, again, though, if you don't like radishes, leave the radishes out. Put something else in there. Mmm, my favorite. Okay, and then we're going to do pumpkin seeds, a sprinkle of pumpkin seeds, raw but roasted or just raw. Um, if they're raw and you do want them roasted, do it at a low temperature, um, 200, 250 um, for 15 to 25 minutes. And so we're going to take the pepitas or pumpkin seeds and just kind of sprinkle them. over the top as well as hemp seeds. Hemp seeds and pumpkin seeds are both great sources of protein and healthy fat. You can also add the hemp seeds to the pesto if you so desire, if you just don't want that um, just sprinkled on the top. And then we have this gorgeous salad. And what's nice about this is you know, you've got the crunchiness of the radishes and the bok choy that's a little bit of sweet and you got the heartiness of the kale and, you know, the healthy fats and proteins. Again, you can add anything like 
grilled chicken to this. You can add um, s uh, baked salmon to this would be amazing. Or it can just be served as a side salad um, with some other roasted vegetables and, you know, pureed lentils or chickpeas or anything like that. So that's a good salad for you and your body and your mind. So nourish yourself. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put it down below. Thank you for listening to The Crooked Kitchen and I will see you later.